Hello there guys and welcome back for another map mod review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Glenvar or Glenvar Farm map version 1.0. This is a fictional map based in Western Australia. This map is not for all players. This player is intended for players who like big challenges basically and players that like large extensions because these fields are amongst the biggest fields I've ever seen in any map and you'll see what I mean when we get started. The file size is 329 megabytes. Um, when you're downloading this file guys have a little patience because it took me about an hour and a half to download that tiny little file. I don't know why but the odd the odd map file I do download it does have that problem so just be patient and you'll get it. Halfway down the link page guys as usual you'll notice there's a couple of mods that you're gonna need. The um, the links are there, you just copy and paste them into your browser. Just three small mods, the chop straw, the animated door triggers, and the multi-fruit module. Um, what else? I have no animals written here, but there is animals on this map. And this is a Farming Simulator 2008 map, upgraded to Farming Simulator 2000... No, it's a 2008 map, upgraded to 2015. Sorry about that. Okay guys, I'm going to attempt to read this, so just bear with me. Glenvar has been farmed by the Shields family since 1925. The original holding of 7,000 hectares has grown to 140, no, 14,300 hectares, today of which 12,000 hectares is arable. The farming operation of Glenvar is centered around 10,000 hectares of pastures based 20 kilometers northeast of Wangan Hills and 2,000 hectares located 16 kilometers southwest of Wangan Hills, Western Australia. At Glenvar, maintaining the environment in which we farm is imperative to our long-term survival. We have changed from full tillage practices to no-till farming to, produce er to reduce erosion of our sandy soils and to increase soil microbial activity. Wow, some big words in here. We are very pleased to be a quality assured company as we believe it is the way forward in agriculture in Australia. It is a further chance to produce what consumers are required requiring as well as complementing our already high quality grain. We have a quality policy of on our notice board in the workshop to encourage our employees to become committed to this. I love these little stories, man. They're great. So let's get started, guys. Enough jibber jabber. Okay, we do have question mark location uh, describe things. Welcome. So we can't go in there. Okay, that's I wrote no animals, and it's not no animals, it's no starting equipment. So instead of t taking you over to you just seen the map there shit I was trying to surprise you with that um, garage take you over the garage look nothing there so you're gonna need a money mod too as well guys just to get a couple of things to get started and uh, there is animals on this map as I said before there they are just your basics I'm going to take you over to the options menu and here's what you have for fruit right there's your basics up to there and there's added soybean sorghum oats so you got three extras there so hold on one second I just gotta grab my keyboard since there's no vehicles I'm gonna have to put in my flight mod or code right there Q and J to fly. Oh, darn. I want to get rid of that first. Q and J to fly. And my speed mod is six. All right, back to it, guys. Sorry about that. Just a quicker way to show you around the map. There's nothing over here. Just that. I don't know what those little house things are. Those little houses. Oh, we got handicap parking right in our yard. Yeah, that's convenience. We got a shed here to park some of your equipment this is seed yes this is my third time trying to record this guys so I'm kind of familiar what we're going to be seeing ahead here 
Uh, my microphone keeps cutting out and it's getting a little frustrating. Ever since I got this new headset I just have been having problems but it does sound better when I do get it going. Okay, what do we have here? We have a little work ramp to look, put your vehicle up on. This looks like, okay here's fuel here. Red diesel, do not use as road fuel. That would not be a good idea. We we'll get some more storage. All kinds of vehicle storage. Wow. Tons and tons. Okay, we looked over there. Let's keep going over this way for now. Oh, we got some silage rolls being fermented, looks like. This is our sheep zone. Our sheepy. There's where the water goes. There's where you pick up your wool. Right? Yeah. Wool pallets right there. Keep going over this way. It looks like we got a couple of conveyors. This is probably your potato yeah. Your potatoes, sugar beets, and wood chips. Right? Right. More vehicle storage. You got a big old garage here, barn type thing. Some more fertilizer. It looks like lime, but it's not because there's no lime on this map. Okay, up and away, Superman. So, we've seen all this. It looks like, is there chickens over here? No, chicken coops up ahead. The rooster's hanging around the yard somewhere. Did we see the rooster? Where the hell did he go? Oh well, we'll take a look. Oh, there he is. There's your chicken coops, guys. The lo lonely rooster lurking around somewhere. There he is. Hey, buddy. Okay. Now, here, nice big old silo patch here. We have, ooh, let's, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 small silos and two massive ones. More vehicle storage. Wow, there's tons of vehicle storage. Okay, this looks like your green drop off or pick up or something. Not too sure, it's not telling me. Probably your drop off. But I thought there was another part for that. Right here. I think this is your drop off. I don't know what the steam's about, guys. I don't know. It looks pretty cool though. Okay, we'll keep going this way. We got a water tower. We already went over that way. Some more vehicle storage down there. Nothing in there, is there? No. Here we have our cow pasture. Our milking machine. Both types of poop. We got our solid poop and our liquid slurry poop. This is, I don't know. It says um, ammonia. I thought it was fertilizer. It looks like a little uh, fill up here, doesn't it? I don't know. I'm going to guess fertilizer, but who knows? Ammonia. I'm not really too sure what you'd use that for. But onward to the biogas. Wow, there's tons of vehicle storage, man. It's just everywhere. Okay, we got a slurry pit. Every time you, uh, at the biogas, when you sell compost or not compost sorry silage you get slurry as a byproduct oh cool got a little garage in here I wonder if this works or it's hard to uh, maybe not I might not just be not hit it right I seen I reviewed another map where there was one of them and it actually worked these silo pits look big to you guys or silo pits, uh, silage pits. Look at the size of them. They look huge. Oh, cool. Got a digital Rito. Yeah, they look big to me, man. I don't know what it is, but they just look massive. So you got, you can make all kinds of silage. So we're northbound. What's over here? Do we already go over here? Yes. Okay, guys. Let's head northbound. Actually, we'll we'll. Go by the center of the map and see the lake. I think that's a lake there. Yeah, there's no forestry, guys, unless you can cut down these type trees. Because the map is completely littered with these trees and only these trees. So, 
unless you can chop them up you're not going to be doing any forestry cool oh we got a dude here fishing let's go give him a visit did you catch anything bud what you got in the boat huh huh oh great i'm stuck yeah when you're flying using this flying thing you don't if you touch the water it's you get stuck in there no you didn't catch nothing man Jeez, it's almost dark. You didn't catch nothing. Actually, it's only 7 in the morning. That's the sunrise, isn't it? Okay. Full speed ahead. So, yeah, look at the size of these fields, man. You know how long it's going to take to do one of these fields? Like, oh, I'd love to time that. Imagine how long it would take to seed and, and fertilize that. Especially that center field. Like, holy. That would take a while definitely be hauling in a lot of uh, grain though what do we got here guys some potatoes it's a cool little place it looks pretty cool it looks some more seed I like that that uh, red wood paneling it looks different and what do we got here this is selling wool oh there's the did I just see a trigger point there yeah right here huge one and there's drop off. This is selling points here, actually. But it, look how it goes into a big mound. I don't know how they separate that grain. It's probably all the same stuff, I'd imagine. You get some uh, some uh, oil pumpers. Big building over here. We get some ships up here. That's where all that grain's gonna end up eventually. Is this one? Oh, I thought that was another another. Uh, silage pit what do we got here a little another little garage fixer up garage oh here's another drop off some more egg sales I think there's a couple places to sell eggs in this map it looks like I thought I see more than that one see I, I've already done this review like three times now so I'm kinda getting mixed up here's the shop guys vehicle shop do we need yeah we're probably gonna need the uh, the open door mod for that I thought that opened no okay maybe we gotta be in a vehicle for that to work no huh. anyway that's the uh, that's the shop we got a big old silo patch here What's down there? Okay, that's we already seen that. Let's take a look at the ships, guys. A big old crane. One's full of grass. One's full of uh, grain. There might be chafe. I don't know. Chaff. Chafe chaff. So, let's take another boot around the map. So, I think I showed you everything up here, if I'm not mistaken. Look at the size of those fields. I know I said that a bunch of times, but I just can't get over it. Like, I'm waiting to see the day the map, somebody's going to make a map where it's just going to be all field. And there's just going to be a farm stuck in the middle. No roads, no nothing. Just one big, enormous field. So look, guys. Fields as far as the eye can see. I don't know if you're going to have to plow this first. It's kind of messy. everything's grown over that just means you might have to run the plow up but I don't know you could probably seed right over it I imagine this looks like good soil here so let's take a shot over the firm and we'll wrap this review up so yeah there's a lot of farming on here that's for damn sure and you got your uh, hand animal husbandry down at the main farm here so you got other things to do besides that and we're back yeah it would take a while to get around this map that's for damn sure okay guys I'm gonna leave it there I hope you enjoyed that the uh, information will be down as usual in the description as well as the link and I will see you guys in the next one. By the way, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you aboard if you enjoy mod reviews. Why not, eh? 
So, until next time, guys. See you later.